Hi friends, this is part three of my mutual fund series, which is buy four mutual funds every single month. Thank you so much for your overwhelming response on part one and part two. Let me give you a quick synopsis of part one and part two before we start part three. In part one, what we really learned about three types of investors, conservative, balanced and aggressive. Also, we learned about four types of mutual funds that you must consider buying in your portfolio. Number one, large cap, flexi cap, mid cap and small cap. We also learned the percentage allocation for each type of investors. Also, we learned about what are the best index mutual funds when it comes to large cap mutual funds. In part two, we learned about the best mutual funds when it comes to flexi cap mutual fund category. And there was an overwhelming response on that video asking me to create part three. So here I am creating part three. In part three, what I want to do is talk about the best strategy when it comes to mid cap mutual funds. I'm going to only talk about unbiased facts and data. You make the decision and you're going to love this video. With that, let's get this video started. The first extremely important question is, should we take the passive route or should we take the active route when it comes to mid cap mutual funds? So let the data talk. Have a look at my screen and you will see the performance of mid cap mutual funds. These are the daily rolling return as of May 19, 2023. And what you clearly see is that if we compare one year returns, you will see out of total 25 active mutual funds, 18 of them have failed to beat the benchmark index returns. If you look at the three years horizon, you will see that out of total 24, 14 of them have failed to beat the benchmark index. And if you look at the five year returns, you will see that out of 22, in fact, 19 out of them, which is roughly 86% of mutual funds have been able to not beat the benchmark index return. This is mind boggling. It is a very similar, similar study that we looked at during the large cap mutual funds. And we established that data tells us that majority of the active mid cap mutual funds are not able to beat the benchmark index returns. Also, if you have a look at the example such as Tata mid cap growth fund, also Taurus discovery mid cap mutual funds, DSP mid cap mutual fund, all these three very popular big mutual funds have not been able to beat the benchmark returns in all three categories, three year rolling returns, five year rolling returns and one year rolling returns. It is mind boggling that people don't understand this and they still take the mid cap mutual fund active route. I will not recommend you to take the active mutual fund route when it comes to mid cap mutual funds because data tells us that they are not able to beat the benchmark index. But if you still say to me that Rahul, are there any mid cap active mutual funds that have beaten the benchmark returns? Yes, there are. Let me quickly show you that snippet. You will see on my screen that there are four active mutual funds that have managed to beat the benchmark index returns in three years category, five years category, seven years category, 10 years category. These four mutual funds are listed on your screen. One thing you will notice is that the difference in the returns is not huge at all. And there is absolutely no guarantee that these four mutual funds will again beat the benchmark index. My point is really simple. If we go back and have a look at it over the five years period, 86% of them have not been able to beat the benchmark index. So therefore, we should not consider investing our money into the active mutual fund route when it comes to mid cap mutual fund category. I hope this point is very, very clear. It's extremely, extremely important. If you found this analysis powerful and useful, please hit the like button. Also consider joining my YouTube member community because I put out exclusive content for my member community on YouTube that will greatly help you in your investment journey. Now coming back to the second question, which is if we are taking the index mutual fund route when it comes to mid cap category, which are the best index mutual funds. So just so that you know, there are three indexes when it comes to mid cap mutual fund categories. Number one is Nifty mid cap 150 TRI. It is an extremely simple index, which is listed on the NSE. You will be basically investing your money in stock number 101 to 250. Of course, this listing changes very, very frequently. Now coming back to the index number two, which is Nifty mid cap 150 quality 50 stocks. Now this one is slightly a combination of passive and active. Let me quickly explain to you in 10 seconds. What it simply means is you take the stocks, which is 101 to 250. And out of this 150 stocks, you take only 50 quality stocks. Now, what defines the quality? It is decided by three factors. Number one is return on equity. Number two is financial leverage, which is the debt versus equity, the ratio of debt and equity. And number three is earning growth variation. What is the earning growth that the particular stock has given? Based on these three factors, this index actually takes 50 stocks out of 101 to 250 stocks. Then comes number three index, which is Nifty mid cap 150 momentum 50 index. Let me quickly also show you that is again 
one of the index that we can look at investing very simple logic that you look at the 150 stocks between 101 and 250 and out of that you select 50 stocks which are showing momentum in the last six months or last one year now what is momentum if i talk about momentum that itself will take one full video but very quickly what it means is if a stock has appreciated in the last six months the assumption is that it will keep appreciating that is what the momentum investing in 10 seconds means. So they select 50 stocks out of those 101 to 250. That is called momentum 50 quality stocks. Now comes the fourth index. There is one more index as well, which is Nifty Midcap 50 try. Again, this is one index where what happens is that out of the 150 stocks from the mid cap category, you take those 50 stocks for which derivative contracts are available on NSE. Again, if you don't understand derivative, please do not worry. It simply means futures and options and things like that. Again, it's a different topic altogether, but I hope you get the gist of these four indexes that we have right now in when it comes to mid cap category. And the question comes, which one should we select when it comes to mid cap mutual fund category? Let me clarify that very, very quickly. So the first rule of thumb is that if you don't understand something, please don't invest in it. This is the quote by legendary Warren Buffett. And now if you look at these four indexes, Nifty mid cap 150 quality 50. If you don't understand how the quality is selected, if you don't understand what is momentum, if you don't understand what is derivatives simply means that you should not even consider investing in these three indexes. I would go with Nifty mid cap 150 try. It is a simple index. It works. Also, the second main reason that I want to talk about is the percentage concentration in the top 10 holding. Extremely important. If you look at the Nifty mid cap 150 quality one, you will see that the percentage holding percentage concentration here is almost 30 percent. While it when it comes to Nifty mid cap 150, the percentage concentration is only 17 percent. Likewise, if you see the momentum ones, the percentage concentration is extremely high, 44 percent. My point is very, very simple. Nifty mid cap 150 is highly diversified when it comes to these four indexes. And I would highly recommend you to consider Nifty mid cap 150 index instead of remaining three because it is the most diversified index. Now let me talk you through which are the best index mutual funds available in this particular category of Nifty mid cap 150. So what you see on my screen is I've got rid of all other index and mutual funds. I've only got the Nifty mid cap 150 index mutual funds and there are seven of them listed here on my screen. Let us go ahead and have a look at some of their parameters to select which one makes more sense because all of them are very, very similar when it comes to returns. So the first thing if we do, if we just sort it by tracking error, let us have from lowest to highest, you will see that SBI Nifty mid cap and ICIC Pro have given the lowest tracking error at the time of recording this video, which is 0 0.06, which is really good. If you look at the three year average annual rolling returns, you will not see any data there except for Motilal Oswal, because all of these funds are recently introduced recently only in India, the passive investing has been picking up from the last one year or two years. Therefore, you wouldn't see a lot of funds. Therefore, we can't even compare the rolling returns. But if you look at the absolute returns in the last one year at the time of recording this video, again, extremely, extremely similar returns that you will see roughly 25%. All of them have given very, very minor differences. But when it comes to the top two here, First one, the SBI has the exit load 0.25 while the ICICI does not have exit load from that perspective. ICICI makes more sense rather than SBI. But let us also have a look at the expense ratio. So if you look at the expense ratio, we will see that from expense ratio perspective, Navi is the lowest right now 0.11. But the tracking error in case of Navi is 0.23, which is extremely high. I wouldn't recommend it because of the high tracking error. So if you look at the best combination of tracking error and expense ratio, I would see that ICICI Pro has the lowest tracking error and also has a reasonably lower expense ratio of 0.20 after 0.11. It is the lowest one from a expense ratio perspective. Therefore, ICSA Pro Nifty from expense ratio and tracking error combo, combo perspective makes more sense. Not a financial advice, not a recommendation. I'm only giving you the data and facts. It's ultimately your decision which index mutual fund you want to invest in. Now, here is a little homework for you. Let me know in the comments if you know the oldest mutual fund in Indian history. Secondly, do you still want part four of this video where I can analyze the small cap mutual funds? If yes, let me know in the comments. I'll be happy to shoot a video if I get more than 500 comments on this video. And I will look to create the part four of this video to 
finish this series. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next video. Until then, keep rocking.